This is why the awra. He says, Sallallahu al maratu awra. Faida kharajat when she leaves, astashrafaha shaitan. And this is the case when she's wearing hijab. Imagine when she's trying to seduce every single man that passes by her. In this society, that's what they do. You know, when they want to, you know, give compliment to each other, what, what do they say? Oh, she looks so sexy. Sorry, for, excuse me for, you know. That's what she said. They say to each other. And she's like, really? You know. And then tomorrow, she, you know, she wears something lighter than yesterday. And then they say, oh, you look more attractive. And then she, until inshallah, she comes up with something that shaitan iblis would not even try on. Would not try, trust me, with the thing that they wear, shaitan would not try in public. In my view. طيب. Here, also in front of the masjid, on the masajid, listen what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said on Abi Usaid, Malik bin Abi Rabi'ah, radiyallahu anhu annahu sami'a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a yaqul, wa huwa kharijun min al-masjid. He said Rasulullah, he hears Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while Rasulullah was coming outside of the masjid. قال وقد اختلط الرجال مع النساء في الطريق. and outside the masjid never we men and women all of them they came and they were you know going through they're not doing anything haram you know but there was a traffic there heavy traffic traffic so فقال صلى الله عليه وسلم استأخرنا فليس لكنا أن تحققنا الطريق. he said stay back he said to the women stay away stay back. You should not walk in the middle of the road. Women, they should not walk in the middle of the you know, walkway or in the middle of the road. Because in Sahih in Muslim, another hadith in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, قال, in this hadith, لَيْسَ لِلنِّسَاءِ وَسْطُ الطَّرِيقِ I'm sorry, Ibn Hibban. لَيْسَ لِلنِّسَاءِ وَسْطُ الطَّرِيقِ وَسْطُ الطَّرِيقِ He said women should not walk in the middle of the road. They should walk into the sides of the road. Close to the walls. Yaqul al-Rawi, the person who narrated the hadith, he says, radiyallahu anhu. He said, women used to go out and they would walk the sahabiyat close to the walls to the point that jilbabs would be or would be hanged from the walls or would be um, dragged or uh, what do you call it, scratched from the thorns on the branch of the trees on the street. So this is how women should be ikhwati fillah. From the masjid, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left a special gate, special door for the sisters to enter. قال, لو تركنا هذا الباب, لو تركنا هذا الباب للنساء, so if we only leave this door for women and women, will, and only women used to enter from that door. And Nafi, he said, Abdullah ibn Umar never entered from, through that door when he was going to the masjid, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu, he used to punish anyone who would go to the masjid through the door of the sisters. To, through the door of the sisters. From also Sunan Abi Dawood, Rasulullah, from Sunan Abi, he titled this, I'm rushing everything because of, we only have 10 minutes, inshallah. He said, he titled one of the chapters, Bab in Suraf al Nisa, Qabl al Rijali min al Salah. He said, Women used to leave the Salah, used to leave the masjid before men do. وكان رسول الله then he mentioned the hadith of the صلى الله عليه وسلم كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا سلم مكث قليلا when he makes taslim he would stay little bit وكانوا يرون أن ذلك كيما ينفذ النساء قبل الرجال and this is was for the women to leave before men in Bukhari he says صلى الله عليه وسلم فطور والله أعلم he said we used to think لك ينفذ من ينصرف من النساء قبل أن يدركنا من ينصرف أو من انصرف من القوم. He said women used to leave before any of the men would leave. Now this is a lot of the things, but I want to just mention one few more things concerning this, so then we can go be eating Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And this is women who come to the masjid, and we will love them to come to the masjid, but we will love them also to behave as a mu'minat salihat. Hafilat lil ghayb, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described them and mentioned them in the Quran. For the regular salawat, they can come to the masjid. However, 
it's better for them to pray at home. In hadith, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hadith Umma Humayd al-Sa'idiyya, al-Ansariyya, anna jaati ila Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa qalat, ya Rasulullah, now this lady, she came to her and said, ya Rasulullah, I like praying with you. Faqala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qad alimtu annaki tuhibbina salata ma'i. He said, I know that you like to pray with me. You have to pray with the, the jama'ah that I'm leading. وَصَلَاتُكَ فِي بَيْتِكَ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْ صَلَاتِكَ فِي حُجْرَتِكَ وَصَلَاتِكَ فِي بَيْتِكَ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْ صَلَاتِكَ فِي حُجْرَتِكَ He's saying, your salah in your room better than the salah in the house itself. وَصَلَاتُكَ فِي حُجْرَ وَصَلَاتِكَ فِي حُجْرَتِكَ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْ صَلَاتِكَ فِي دَارِكَ وَالدَّارِ هُوَ فَنَا The area in front of the house and in what we call the in front they used to have the house and in front of the house they used to have open area but walls would be uh, covering this. He say, and that praying inside of your house is better than praying outside of that air, in that area. قَالَ وَصَلَاتُكِ فِي دَارِكِ خَيْرُ لَكَ مِنْ صَلَاتِكِ فِي مَسْجِدِ قَوْمٍ And praying in the fana of the dar is better for you coming to the masjid and praying in your local masjid. وَصَلَاتِكِ فِي مَسْجِدِ قَوْمِكِ خَيْرُ لَكَ مِنْ صَلَاتِكِ فِي مَسْجِدِ And you praying in your local masjid is more rewarding than you coming to my masjid. Masjid al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. However, as Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, we cannot stop sisters coming from the mas to the masjid because Rasulullah yaqul, la tamnu'u nisa'a an yakhrijna ila al masajid wa biyutuhin wa biyutihinna khayrun lahunna. He said, women should not come and pray in the masjid. He said, we should not stop coming, women from coming to the masjid and praying with the jama'ah. However, their houses is better for them than coming to the masjid for salah. Tayyib. How much time do we got? Five moments. We'll make it ten, inshallah. Now, let us answer some of the questions and entertain, and we will skip most of the things that I want to say here concerning this, but I think we understand and we want to just focus on what we want to talk about. Now, first of all, how should you meet someone that you want to marry? How should you meet? How, what is this halal dating? What is it? I know a lot of young people yesterday when they learned the title and this halal dating, they were like, really? I can date so-and-so? You know, or I can talk to them? What are we talking about? Halal dating is we want to allow two individuals to come together based on the book of Allah and the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How should you do this? Number one, there is no such thing called dating in Islam. The only halal dating is when you are married to that person. You can date that person as long as you want. You can take her anywhere. Take her to the movies, sit in the last seats, mashallah. You know, go to take a driver to the parking, what do you call to the park or you go to Niagara Falls, whatever you want to do as long. It's a nikah. That is the only halal day. Now, how should we do this? And how should we answer the list of the question? Now they said. Why would you build walls between us if you really want us to marry one another? And they do have a valid reason. They do have valid reason. How do you expect this young man to meet this young lady if we say, sisters, go this way, brothers, go this way, don't talk to each other, don't look at each other, don't you know, call each other, don't chat, don't poke anyone on the fitna book, your Facebook. You know that thing? That thing is so nasty. Wallahi, every time I, I don't even have, you know, I want to, maybe I will create a, what do you call it, fake what, what, uh, email, so I can just go. But I will never do this. Facebook, do you know they poke each other? <laughs> that's, that's, that's funny. I think the shayateen did not even come up with such idea that you go and poke another female shaitana. 